Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and today we are going to be talking about outdoor Disney dining, my favorite places to eat al fresco at Walt Disney World and why you may wanna check them out on your next visit. And I'm really glad that you're here. First of all, before I get into this video, I just want to say that if you are like me, you are continuing to schedule Disney trips and cancel Disney trips and schedule Disney trips and cancel Disney trips. I, I almost feel like there may be a little picture of me on the wall in some, you know, central reservation room somewhere of the girl who continues to cancel. Because I think I've decided that the way I'm gonna get through the great unpleasantness is I will just schedule a trip for every three months and then cancel it and then schedule another one for three months down the road and hope that miraculously something will change and I will feel comfortable visiting Walt Disney World. But one of the things I know for sure is that unless and until there is a vaccine, uh, we are not doing indoor dining. We are not doing it here in Atlanta and we will not be doing it when we travel. So that got me to thinking about when I go back to Walt Disney World, where do I wanna eat? Now I am hungry as I am filming this video, <laughs> full disclosure, that I might get rather passionate and excited about some of the places that I'm going to mention. But that's for good reason, because these are places that you should get passionate and excited about too, because there is a plethora of options for outdoor dining at Walt Disney World. Let's start at the Magic Kingdom, because you know, Eating and the Magic Kingdom kind of go hand in hand, and fortunately, there are lots of outdoor dining options there. Now, of course, one of my favorite outdoor dining options at Magic Kingdom is to just sort of snack your way through, and all of the different areas where you can buy snacks and light meals typically have a big outdoor dining area, so you can absolutely do that in a, in a variety of different places, but if I am visiting the Magic Kingdom, I am going to be getting my favorite thing in the whole world, which is the vegan hot dog at Casey's. Now, I first had this, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four visits ago, absolutely fell in love with it. I'm usually not, as a vegetarian, I'm usually not a huge fan of, um, you know, plant-based meat, or at least I wasn't until recently, but some of the offerings as of late have been amazing, absolutely phenomenal. What I would be doing is grabbing my vegan hot dog from Casey's and then heading over to the hub grass and taking up my own little spot to eat my vegan hot dog with myself and whoever I happen to be traveling with, definitely going to get the fries and that would just be a fabulous meal for me. Now, if you want a more upscale experience, really the only table service option at Magic Kingdom is going to be Tony's. Now, um, I will put a screenshot right here of a tweet that I made about Tony's. We like Tony's, which apparently on Twitter is like the world's most controversial opinion, but we really do enjoy it there. I realize it is not authentic Italian food, but we love it for what it is. In fact, I very rarely get pasta there. I really like, they have a couple of different dishes that I like. Love the service, they do have a patio. Which brings up a question. If you are insistent on outdoor dining, I am curious as to when you check in, do you tell them, listen, we'll wait for a patio table and if we can't be seated outside, we're not gonna eat here and how would that work? But you know, I, I feel very confident that if for some reason they couldn't seat us outside and I called and said, you know, listen, this is a health hazard for us, they would not charge us the cancellation fee. So I'm sort of in a wait and see attitude about that, but I really like Tony's and the bonus of eating outside at Tony's is as different, you know, character cavalcades come by, you would have front row viewing and you also have front row viewing to just all of the amazing things that are happening right there in the middle of Main Street. So we happen to love it there and that is a great option. Moving on to Epcot. Now, of course, right now you have the Food and Wine Festival going on. So that's a fabulous option because obviously that is going to be all outdoors. But if you wanted something a little more refined and you wanted like a full meal, the place you're gonna find me is definitely at Spice Road Table. Now, this is a restaurant that I had not eaten at at all until last year and absolutely fell in love with it. I love a Mediterranean food. They have a myriad of vegetarian options and a huge outdoor dining area. In fact, I think they have far more seating outside than they do inside. You really should not have any trouble at Spice Road table getting an outdoor table at Spice Road table. <laughs> It is a Moroccan Mediterranean type restaurant. The falafel fries are to die for and I just cannot 
I, I just, it was one of the better meals I've ever had at Epcot was at Spice Road Table. Um, really all kinds of different places. Uh, the Japan Pavilion has great outdoor seating. It really is kind of prime dining opportunity if you want to sit outside. You know, again, less so for table service, although we really love Rosen Crown and it has a nice big outdoor dining area. So lots and lots of options at Epcot. My favorite though, probably for counter service right now is going to be, and I have to write down the name of things that are new because, you know, I'm old, uh, Regal Eagle Smokehouse. I was very impressed with their vegetarian burger. Uh, they have lots of different options there and tons of outdoor seating, so definitely would recommend eating there. Okay, moving on to Hollywood Studios. For me, Hollywood Studios is always a bit of a struggle from a dining perspective. What I would probably do there if the weather was nice would be to head to the Brown Derby and eat at the bar, which is actually outside. You can sit at nice little cafe tables. The entire Brown Derby menu or whatever it is they're serving now, because I know most of the restaurants do have limited menus, is available out there and um, it's a great place to people watch fabulous food you can get the cob salad out there I get kind of the vegetarian version of the cob salad which they will make for you and it's just amazing uh, backlot Express is a great counter service option with plenty of outdoor seating um, also you could also do um, you could also always do um, Baseline Tap House, which we know I love Baseline Tap House, and they do have a few food offerings. That's going to be more like a snack, um, unless, of course, you want a beer to be your meal, which <laughs> that's fine. We're in a global pandemic. Do whatever makes you happy. All right, moving on to Animal Kingdom. There are so many outdoor dining options at Animal Kingdom. Um, all of the counter service places for the most part have outdoor dining, and so that should not be difficult. Um, Nomad Lounge, of course, absolutely love it there. You can get the full Tiffin's menu or again, what they're currently offering at Nomad Lounge. Um, it can be tricky to get an outdoor table there. So if you want to do that option, I would definitely go earlier or maybe go like in between meal times if you want to get a good outdoor table. I don't know who keeps telling people about that place. It might be me, but you know, we need, we need to, to kind of keep that on the down low. So let's keep the whole Nomad Lounge thing just between us. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. We got that. Oh, um, I also love Yak and Yeti's counter service. Obviously, we would not be eating in the restaurant, but you could get counter service from there. Plenty of outdoor seating. Um, so yeah, lots of different great options at Animal Kingdom. Now at the resorts. Now, a few of you made recommendations to me um, as we were chatting about it on Instagram and in a live stream that I did as we were discussing different great outdoor places at the resorts. Um, Geyser Point at Disney's Wilderness Lodge was recommended to me. And I did just find out from a viewer that you can go over there even if you don't have a hotel reservation as long as you take Disney transportation. So Geyser Point would be, to me, a fantastic option if you were at the Magic Kingdom, you wanted some fresh air, you could make your way over to Wilderness Lodge and eat there. Um, Three Bridges at Coronado Springs is one of the places I've been longing to go. That's the bar area they have that's kind of in the middle of the water. Lots of outdoor seating there. Another a uh, resort option if it's open, because I know that they are suspending monorail service over there, but you can still get there other ways, would be Captain Cook's at the Polynesian, because you could go get a Dole Whip and you could kind of get something different. Again, a change of pace, lots and lots and lots of outdoor seating, pretty much all of the resorts. In fact, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, all of the resorts. I don't know about the values, but um, the rest of the resorts have outdoor seating with their counter service places. And that's one of those things that I think people underutilize is the outdoor options at the resort. So definitely consider that if outdoor dining is something you're looking for. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause for a second because my neighbors are getting a delivery, which means the dogs are gonna go crazy for the next 15 minutes or so. Like a big delivery, like it looks like furniture. That's one thing about my upstairs office. If you um, know this reference, I'm kind of like Mrs. Kravitz because I can look out on the cul-de-sac and make sure nobody's up to any trouble. Okay, now I didn't even really get into Disney Springs at all because honestly, I'm not sure we'll be going to Disney Springs, but there are plenty of options there. You've got both counter service like Blaze Pizza that has great outdoor seating. Again, pretty much all the counter service places. And then for a little more upscale dining, you have lots of outdoor options, including Wine Bar George. They have great patio seating. I know Homecoming has great outdoor seating. So definitely lots and lots of options. And again, places that 
have almost more outdoor seating than indoors, so I'm sure they would have no problem if you said you would prefer to wait for an outside table. So the bottom line is, if you're planning a trip down to Walt Disney World, an outdoor dining is one of the precautions that you wanna take. If you're not quite ready to eat inside a restaurant yet, there are so many great options and you don't have to sacrifice the culinary experience of your trip just because you don't wanna eat inside at a restaurant. And I know that whenever we go back to Walt Disney World, that is what this family will be doing. Thanks for joining me. If you didn't subscribe already, please make sure you do so. It just really helps me out so much. It helps me with the algorithm and it just helps me feel like what I'm doing is useful and bringing you guys magic, which is what I love to do. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're being really, really good to each other and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.